All right, how's it going, everybody? My opponent skipped all their bands, so I'm going Ymir. And they went Uller. I almost always ban Uller, uh, but unfortunately, I, I didn't have enough bands uh, due to them skipping all their bands. Probably could have banned Uller over Poseidon. But this is a matchup I haven't played for a while because I always ban Uller because Uller is top tier. And it's a, it's a difficult matchup, let me tell you. But I'm going to give it all I got. All I got. Here we go. <clears throat> I hope you all are doing good. I woke up this morning feeling so dehydrated. But I'm drinking lots of water as always. I tend to go through water like crazy when I'm streaming and stuff. I still have my frostbite on him so I can still box him. Yep, cool. Minions have spawned. Okay, okay. Got the minis. Ymir can take the minis super easy like that. Get a little bit of XP and gold. Try to kill the Gilded Arrow minion. Ow. Again, this matchup uh, should go to Uller. I, play I played this matchup a lot uh, years ago when Uller's Axe was actually a slower animation. It was a closer matchup, but not anymore. He's almost out of mana, though. If I keep bait getting his mana, then we're good. I'm running out of mana, too, though. Damn, I'm, now I'm out of mana. <laughs> I shouldn't have freeze. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I have enough mana for the next wave. That's an important thing. That's an important thing. I self chalice. I bought chalice to save some gold in the long term. So when I back, I'll get more potions, which is great. I feel like chalice is good with this start, but then you don't have mana potions, which is unlucky. Missing some of these minions, unfortunately. Could go for red if I secure it with my ult. <clears throat> I might just do that, to be honest. Depends on if he's coming this way or not. No, he's not. He's giving it to me. Okay, I'm back in. Got red buff. Nice little start. <clears throat> I must acquire this at once. I must I actually should buy one mana potion. Because I'm gonna have mana issues for a while. Plus I have red buff, not blue buff. Okay. Looks like he's starting to transcend us. Now what I'm worried about is because I don't see a starter item. Is I've never fought it, but is Bumpus Hammer Uller insane? <laughs> I mean, with Uller's passive, Uller's passive every time he uses the ability, it lowers the cooldowns of his other stats. And if Uller does that, combined with auto attacks in between Bumpus Hammer, I imagine you can't beat it. So that's what I'm scared, scared about. But um, if we just don't let him get to late game, or if we force him into a different starter item by getting really far ahead, then that would be good. Absolutely. So more than likely, I'm going to go try to go for Demon King when it spawns and try to secure it with my ultimate. Or at least, you know, try. It depends on the scenario, though. Okay, I thought he was going to axe me. No buffs are up, so not really much I could do right now. Just kind of wait for the wave. Demon King spawns in one minute. <clears throat> Is it one minute or minute 30? I forget. Didn't want to get stunned, so I ulted. I'm actually in a decent spot to stay. I will happily take his, uh, his beads with my ult. Having his beats down is huge. That means I can guarantee kill him uh, later on. Unfortunately, ulting means I can't. Going for Demon King's a little riskier now. Also, this mana potion eh, might have been a waste. He's waiting for me to blink. 
There we go. Uh, I waited until he went into bow stance to blink on him because it takes time for him to switch stance and then leap. If he was in axe stance when I teleported, he would have just been able to instantly get me. Or instantly leap away, I mean. So that was that was actually pretty important there. That's why when he switched to axe stance at first, I said he was waiting for me to blink because if he's in axe stance, I can't blink. There's, there's a delay between me blinking and freezing that where he can... Uh, leap and because he has a one star on Uller, I trust he's good enough to do that Okay, I, I I'm kind of looking at red buff and demon king right now Okay, I don't know why he did that Okay, there we go, dude Yeah, that leap uh, that leap was something something I was not expecting from uh, one star Uller. I think, I think he was trying to time my freeze perfectly. Because if I froze and he leaped in place, I would have died. Uh, but that's not how, that's not what happened. He tried predicting it rather than reacting to it. And I have red buff and I can think about trying to go for King King. Knowing his beats is down is so good for me. Kind of low health. He's low health too. I don't think he'll expect me to go for Demon King here. This is risky, but I I, I absolutely need to risk a little bit in the early game because I lose this in the late game, big time. Yeah, he didn't expect me to go for it. Most people don't expect you, Mary, to be able to take Demon King so fast. Okay, we're actually going to sell a ward so I can get breastplate. I keep buying some consumables that I'm not using, but uh, better to have and not need. That need and not have. Don't know if I'll be able to get his tower, but we definitely have a nice juicy lead right now. His beats should be up again, by the way. So at this point, we're kind of just going to run at him. And then, yeah, when he runs away like that, we just go straight to uh, tower. However, his escape is down right now. I didn't kill all the minions. That's unfortunate. Okay, he made a mistake by letting my minions get into range so easily. My minions now have gotten rid of the backdoor protections of this tower, and even if he kills all the minions, as long as I stay in this circle, those backdoor protections are gone. I will say he was playing a lot more consistent at the beginning of the game. Now he's missing a lot of the axes. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I definitely don't want to give any mercy, considering he might go Bumba's Hammer, Uller. I don't, I, I, again, I don't even know if it's good. I just imagine it's insane with the Uller passive, infinite cooldowns. Oh, I didn't even think that would kill. I was thinking about uh, waiting for my blink and going in. I was like, no, I better just W key it. And if I get it, I get it. But I, I didn't even think the two would kill there. Oh, that was so so nice. Uh, he is alive in six seconds. So I can't get too much damage. However, his beads are down. So if he tries to leap on me or something crazy like that, I can absolutely kill him. Depends. Depends on how close he gets to me. Uh, how long is this down for? Long enough? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, there we go. All right, I'll do a second Ymir game, why not? Uh, just because this one was a little fast. But hey, if you skip all your bans, hit them with the Ymir, you know? Maybe you can ban Ymir next time, since you clearly have ban space. I always say, I always see skipping bans as uh, you feel so confident that you can beat anything that comes through the bans, picks and bans, right? So that's why I like to pick something that's not banned at all. So it's like, hey, if you, if you got room to ban, 
You want a rematch? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna do a second humor game. We could do a rematch. Maybe he'll he'll probably destroy me the second time, but <laughs> Alright, here we are. I'm setting up the custom game against him. Um, I'll let his Zuler through again. Uh, why not? Because I, I just fought that. He is banning this time. <laughs> he is banning. Uh, what what guys do I usually ban? I usually ban Olorun. Olorun the mannequins is absolutely disgusting. Soul's pretty gross too. Oh, he banned Uller. <clears throat> And let's ban uh, Hoi. Hoi is ins By the way, you guys, if you haven't seen Hoi after the buff, he's so good. I mean, he was already insane, but now I, I've got to ban him. Oh, Hades is open. I could go Hades. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't say it's got to be the same matchup since he banned Uller. But let's hit him with the with the Guardian. I I did say I was gonna do two Ymir games. And then he asked for the custom. So actually, why not? Ymir back to back. Romana. This matchup can work, but it's a it's a very difficult if he goes frostbound. Very difficult. I pr I basically just have to go pure auto attack though. And I am actually I usually don't go mannequins, but I'm gonna go mannequins just to keep him from going like four magical defense items. Because uh, if he goes four magical defense items, that'll be so lame. And then I'm going to go into a curse donk. I'm mostly scared of him ulting and then W keying at me. Go in the pain train build. See what start he went. I have the jungle into Ikaval. Okay. Solid. Solid start for the main A. Our mannequin, so I can actually. Oh, he actually stole it. Damn. I was thinking I could secure it with mannequins and with my freeze and everything, but I guess not. He's gonna run away. But I'm in position to take my blue buff anyways, which I kind of need since he took red buff. So it's kind of a win for me anyways. Now his beats are down. I maybe didn't need to take that extra tower shot. I probably didn't need to take that extra tower shot, but that's all right. Getting rid of his red buffs nice, but now he's level five, and I'm actually behind. I'm ahead in gold, which is very rare you see in duel where someone's ahead in gold but behind in XP. It's because I missed all those minions, but I got a buff. But now when he takes his blue buff, he'll get ahead. So I should go take uh, the minis over here. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of mannequins. Like, it's a good item. I just find it unfun. But when you against tanks, sometimes I just have to go it to prevent them from going so much defense. I'm not gonna use my curse knock there because basically it's not a fight I plan on taking. Uh, nothing's up. Might as well recall. That's kind of what usually ends up happening. Could upgrade my curse knock early. I actually will do that since I have the gold. And what that'll do is, it let's say he dives me at, like, a quarter health and then he alts. I can actually turn around and fight him with Kirstonk because he'll be taking extra damage. 
So it is worth upgrading against Vamana. I usually don't upgrade it till later, but let's see. Maybe early on it'll help more than I thought. My attack speed is so low. Oh, you went, uh, Oboe, not, not, or not Ikebo, nice. It's good for me. Vamana's three lowers attack speed as well. The little bat being thrown. Okay, now I do want red buff, but it is kind of tricky to get here. Um, especially if he gets his ult soon. I was going to full commit to that. Now I have no mana. Sucks. I was hoping I would have enough damage to kill. Yeah, now I, I now have to give up red buff. Sucky thing about mannequins, there's just no mana sustain. I need to get my breastplate of Valor. Hopefully he doesn't steal my blue buff. He might. I kind of need my blue buff. Looks like he's just recalling. Should be able to afford Demonic, then we'll start working towards Breastplate. Demonic's super important against uh, tanky gods like Vamana. We're going to go just pure auto attack and basically just smack him around. It's kind of the goal. I'm falling behind kind of fast, though. Okay, having blue buffs good because now I have mana sustain. Oh uh, yeah, I'll use my curse donk. I wasn't sure about turning on him, but I don't want him healing right now. Because if he backs, I can actually go for Demon King. Oh, he's out of everything. But he still had his beads. I can steal this. And actually, if I went straight towards the Demon King, I could have taken it. But I didn't go straight for it. I went for the blue buff instead. I will take the minis, though. Like, could maybe? I mean, his ultimate's down. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I've got mannequins. <laughs> I didn't even take it. Wait, did my ult not do damage to De Demon King? Did my ult just straight up? No, it did. It just did way less than I expected. Damn. I was expecting to take it a lot faster with mannequins. I guess that's kind of that's kind of my own fault because I don't build mannequins that often. That's, I don't know exactly how much damage it does in certain situations. And it's also because I didn't have Bancrofts. But now, if he gets his ultimate, I'm going to be in trouble. In fact, he's fighting me here purely because he's going to get his ult. Yep, there it is. Try and, uh, most important thing here is don't let any of the minions get into my tower. That would been prevent him from taking it. Oh, he's just re recalling. All right. Red buff's not actually up right now, or it shouldn't be. So we'll recall as well. Yeah, mistakes were made. Uh, going for Demon King, I should have went for it more as a bait. Um, or once I saw I wasn't doing enough damage, I should have just left. Uh, but yeah. I think if I went straight for it instead of his blue buff, because his blue buff slowed me down by quite a bit of time. Ooh, free red buff. I'll take it. Keep in mind, his ultimate is still down. Good kill, good kill, good kill.
You know, it's kind of funny I'm fighting Vimana because my initial plan when I was like starting to record today was going to be to play Vimana, but then I saw all the past bans. I'm running low on mana. He went, uh, Sunder. So I got to think of my options to counter that. Okay, the ult is going to suck. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> kind of like that. So oh, I thought he was going to dash forward. Mistakes were made. He will steal my blue buff, but I'm okay with that at this point because I'm going to get my Breastplate of Valor online, which will give me mana sustain. I mean, I could try to fight for it, but it would be so easy to die. Let's see. If I stay on this side. Okay, now we run. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's worth it. does get an entire minion wave to uh, push in, though. Without further ado, let's begin. And let's go into Toxic Blade. Your middle tower and second relic, second relic. What do I want? Okay, here's the thing. I could go Sunder. Sunder with Curse Knock, I could do a huge amount of damage when he ults. But the problem is... The problem is that if he goes Frostbound, I absolutely need a Sprint. So I think I'm going to go for a Sprint. Plus Sprint will be good for chasing him anyways. It's less risky. Okay, red buff's coming up soon. But let me take these minis first. Nope, they're already down. He has Hasten Katana. He's going pure pain train, which again is the kind of hard to fight. Has a god without an escape. If I had an escape, then I wouldn't be having problems. I can't fight him quite right now. I gotta juke the autos, or at least try. Damn, if I got that freeze off. If I got the freeze, that would have been so good. Even though it's kind of late to get a Bancroft, the Bancroft would still help me a lot. All right, let me go with Sprint. Sprint also helps me kind of run away from his ult. Because, again, I the, the end game plan is to pop Curse Thonk and fight him in his ult, which is a terrible idea against Pomana, but sometimes you got to do it. Um, but I'm, I'm just not at that point yet. As we, as I get anti heal, I can do it. Like I'm most likely to get a divine rune on top of this. Good damage. Good damage. I should get this tower here if he backs. If he doesn't back, I might be able to kill him. healed so much and I'm in tower yeah no I don't have my curse dog uh, uh, Vamana ult is so good against Ymir plus he can walk through my wall I would say you, uh, Vamana should win this matchup as well unless I can pull something he is going a lot of power I mean a lot of attack speed and he's not going a lot of defense which is good for me I might get a Witchblade. <laughs> I hate Witchblade. I think it's a... I hate the the item. It used to be so much better, but I might get a Witchblade. And when I say used to, I mean a long, long, long time ago. Absolutely. 
Yeah, gods with gods without escapes get stomped on by Vamana. If I had an escape, this would be so much easier. Because then when he ults, I would just leave, right? And then he can't. I pretty much ruin most of his all. Can't even hit him, dude. <laughs> Can't even hit him. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if that was kind of lag or what, but yeah, I just had a hard time even landing my autos. Oh, that was so close. I don't even think I should have went for the two there. I should have just tried to auto him. Okay, I do get tower here, which is huge. All right, let's recall. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Yeah, the only way I can box Vamana as ultimate is a an auto attack build. Things like Soul Reaver on your mirror just don't work well. Uh, I just cannot apply it often enough for it to be good enough damage for when he ults. So it's kind of problematic. <laughs> Should have started fighting him a little bit earlier. Now that I have Divine Rune and Toxic Blade, his ultimate's not as scary. Uh, you know what? A Bancroft's, a Bancroft's would be incredible here. I need power. I need sustains. It's usually an early game item, but even in these fights, it's going to be giving me 160, 180 power with lots of life still. If he gets anti-heal, I'll swap it out. But uh, he doesn't have anti-heal for the moment, so I, th I think it is the right the right call. Um, upgrading mannequins will be good later on for the physical damage. This game is really close, though. So four and four. The only thing about mannequins that sucks in this matchup is when he alts, uh, it kind of makes his ult last really long. Nice place in that wall. Holy moly, dude. I thought he was going to ult, that's why I sprinted. <laughs> oh, this matchup, dude. This is simply divine. Your middle tower is under attack. Man, he is so tanky with one defense item. Keep in mind, he has his ultimate. <laughs> I don't think I can win at this point. I really don't. I really don't. I don't know why it's so weird with his hitbox when I'm trying to auto it right now. And if anything, I shouldn't have charged my ult if only it allowed him to heal. Because I wasn't able to apply my anti-heal fast enough. He should have went for my phoenix there. No idea what he's doing. Man, if, if, this matchup, uh, Ymir used to do really good in it because uh, Vamana didn't used to be able to walk through player made walls. And when that was the case, I could just, you know, block him off and then that'd be fine. But nope, can't do that anymore. 
which kind of sucks. Basically, he can't fight me unless he has his ult. And then when he has his ult, I just insta-die. That's basically what this entire game has been. Yep, there it is. Your sacrifice was necessary. Yeah, and then I insta-die, man. I, I can, can do very little as Ymir against that. Not to mention his build is just a full commit with his ult, with dominance and everything. He can only fight me in his ultimate, and he he's, has it all the time. He's had it every single, like every single time. I can't catch him out without it, because then he just dashes away. Even fighting with the curse stock and the extra damage, just not good enough. Nope. He takes my Phoenix here 100%. myself over. I'm so dead. I gotta try and make him uh, come away from his uh, his phoenix. I'm my phoenix. Got his ultimate. Dude. The hastened. The pain train Vamana I cannot beat right now. Even with the late game build. Like there like I I there's not really many items I can swap out to help me. Like I could maybe try to go into a lifestyle build and survive his ultimate. Double defense won't be good because kin size dominance. Um yeah, there's just very little I can do. Very little I can do right now. Glad he didn't go frostbound. If I had a Sunder, if I went Sunder over uh, Sprint, I could maybe fight him in his ult a little bit better with the double increased damage. That's about it. I, I have so little power is the problem. I need the, the double anti-heal as well. Because Vamana ultimate healing is just way too much. I mean, I could maybe defend because he can't just chase me into my fountain. But of course, he'll kill my titan insanely fast. Let's get a power potion. Now, if he ults my titan, I mean, there's not very little I can do about that too. Okay, you got like most of my Titan. And now I really want to fight him, but he won't chase me. All right, he won't let me chase. Was Red Buff up? I don't think it was. I think that's just how the game's going to end. He's just going to run away, ult, come back, run away, and only fight when he has ult. And there's very little I can do about that. Hmm. Which is okay, it's okay. I know you don't have all right now. <laughs> I do kill really easy when he doesn't have his ultimate. He maybe got kind of confident because he was killing me so easy in his ult.
Okay, I do have to run once I take this, though. Like, I can't kill his Titan in 8 seconds. I kill his Titan fast, but not that fast. It would just barely be close enough where I wouldn't get him. Uh, I'm going to try to go straight for red buff. This is a little bit risky. But if I get red buff, uh, and I can safely get away. Based on where he is on the map, I don't know. If I can get away, then that's huge. Okay, good. Let's get this. Let's get Ward Chalice just in case for the back doors. <clears throat> Took Demon King, that's okay. He's probably going to ult for my Phoenix, but that's better than ulting for me. It depends. I have my sprint up. And his ult is 100% up right now. There we go. Good stuff. I got so much damage on him before he even ulted there that I was able to just, uh, with my curse lock, he was just guaranteed dead. He doesn't have enough tankiness in his build. That's so good. Like, uh, if he had a talisman or something like that in, for instead of one of his items, that would have been, yeah, I, I just wouldn't be able to kill him that fast with the late game build. But that red buff power potion saved the day. Oh my goodness, that just basically, it, that basically doubled my power, honestly, just finishing my build again, red buff, uh, power potion. GG's. Damn, dude. That, that last game was actually an insanely close game. GG well played. But yeah, I, I would say that matchup overall, Vamana going pain train type build with Hazen Katana, it's very difficult for you, Bear, because, uh, yeah, he can just run at you and kill you pretty much every single time. It's, and you, Bear, excuse me, you, Bear can't get away with his wall or anything like that. So it's tough. Um, but yeah, if, if Vamana had, I think if he had a talisman instead of like Oboe or something like that, he would have plenty of attack speed, movement speed, where I would almost never have an opportunity to fight him. Unless I went with something like Blink, but something like Blink is risky against Vamana in case he goes for a regular Vamana build, which is like quad defense. And then that's super hard to fight, but he doesn't do as much damage. But yeah, uh, GG's. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.